I'm Jason Las Vegas. These are my 2021 NFL Week 9 bets. Okay, so it is currently 2.07 p.m. here in Las Vegas. Monday, November 1st, 2021. As you can see, the NFL Week 8 Monday night games has not been played yet. So we're going to add the Chiefs on a money line in this bet versus uh, the Giants. I'm not going to give up. Ten and a half points, that seems like a lot of points. This Chiefs teams barely cover six, seven-point spreads. So I'm just going to take the Chiefs on a money line in this bet. We'll cheat a little bit. I feel like that's kind of a lock. It seems like they should beat the Giants at home. They have the Packers next week. They have a little bit more concern there. But I'm not going to take the Chiefs against the spread this week. I like a lot of money line bets. I'm not taking any bets against the spread. So we'll see how we can do. The first... um, Game for NFL Week 9 that I'm going to take is going to be the Ravens. I'm not going to take the Jets versus the Colts. The Colts giving up 10.5 points. I think T.Y. Hilton is out of that game. And Jets have a quarterback, uh, Mike White. I think they nicknamed him White Lightning already. He threw for like 400-plus yards versus the Bengals. So I don't want to take the Colts. The Colts are coming off of a loss to the Titans. So I'm just going to stay away from that game. I do like the Colts. They should win the game on the money line. But we don't know how good Mike White Lightning is. So I'm just going to stay away from that game. It's not a two bad teams. I don't think either team is going to make the playoffs. So there's really no reason to even bet on that game. Going to stay away. I think the Titans may be getting Tyrod Taylor back. So um, I would imagine this line, if that news comes out, the line will probably move down towards the Titans. But the Titans and the Dolphins are both terrible teams with quarterback problems. So I'm just going to stay away from that game. I feel like the Ravens coming off of a bye week should be able to beat the Vikings at home. I'm not going to take them against the spread. Ravens are run-heavy team. They can beat a team. They can blow out teams, but I don't know if they're going to beat the Vikings by basically a touchdown. So I'm just going to take the Ravens on a money line. They're coming off of a bye week. They should win this game. The Vikings are coming off of a loss to um, the Dallas Cowboys. And the Dallas Cowboys did not have their starting quarterback, Dak Prescott. So I think the Ravens should be able to beat the Vikings at home on a money line. It's kind of a tricky, trappy game here. I'm going to have to take the Patriots. Panthers are coming off of four losses, but they did win last week versus the Atlanta Falcons. I think Sam Donald did get injured in that game. I'm not going to give up the points. Like I said, this week I'm taking all the teams on the money line, but I'm going to have to take the Patriots on the money line on the road versus the Panthers. I think the Patriots have a very tricky defense. That probably won't allow many points for this Panthers offense. So I'm going to take the Patriots on a money line versus the Carolina Panthers. Obviously, going to take the Bills on a money line versus the Jags. I wouldn't mind giving up the point spread. I don't think I don't think the Jets... I think they could cover in this game, but I don't see them winning this game. The Bills have to win this game. They should not be losing to the teams like the Jags. The Jags only have one win on this season. So just for this parlay, for this specific parlay, there's no against the spread. So I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills on the money line on the road versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Browns versus Bengals. I'm just going to stay away from both teams are up and down. Bengals are coming off of a loss to the Jets. Um, Browns are coming off of a loss to the Steelers. Both teams were favorites in that game. So I'm just going to stay away from this game. We'll see who the winner is. Good luck to both teams. But I, I cannot pick a winner between these two teams. They're both, to me, basically 500 teams. The Browns are 4-4. Four and four, The Bengals are 5-3. and three. So I'm just going to stay away from that game. A little bit of um, Las Vegas bias. But I think the Raiders should be able to beat the Giants. I'm not going to take them against the spread. I think the Giants coming off of a um, what I assume is going to be a loss versus... The uh, Chiefs tonight, they may be a little bit angry, but the Raiders are coming off of a bye week. I think they have enough time to game plan versus the Giants. So I'm going to take the Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders on the money line versus the New York Giants. 
Chargers have not looked good in a while. Eagles are coming off of a big win. At first, I was going to take the Chargers, but now I look at it. I'm thinking out loud. I've decided to just skip the game. I can't. I cannot. I, I just don't trust the Chargers enough. You never know. The Eagles could be putting something together here. What if they win again? I know they beat the Lions. I mean, the Lions are 0-8. They did put up 44 points on the road. The Chargers just have not looked good in the last few weeks. They're coming off of a few losses. They're coming off of a loss to the Ravens. They're coming off of a home loss to the Patriots. I'm not going to take them in this game. i got to skip that game. I do like the Rams. I, you know, I would take the Rams against the spread. I'm probably going to take the Rams in a few teasers this week. But I believe, unfortunately, Derrick Henry is injured. He may be lost for the season for the Titans. So I don't think uh, if you put all the offense on Tannehill that he will be able to compete with this Rams offense or their defense. The defense is really good, especially at home. Rams are 7-1. and one. I'm just going to take them on a money line in this game. I do like the point spread. You could t- probably take them minus 7.5. I don't think that's too big a- high of a number for the Rams to win this game. In the last game, I'm going to have to take the Steelers. I'm going to take the Steelers on a money line. Steelers are not really known as a team to cover the spread, especially six and a half points. Um, the Bears are coming off of a loss at home to the um, 49ers. Steelers coming off of a win versus the Browns. They were underdogs by like four points in that, or 3.5 in that game. Nice win for the Steelers. They only put up 15 points, right? So that's the worrisome with this offense they're not going to really beat many teams but they only allowed 10 points to the um browns i think this defense is really good it, the bears are going to have a lot of trouble moving scoring points versus this pittsburgh steelers especially at on the road so i'm just going to take the steelers on a money line so we have seven money line nfl week nine bets also, this weekend is UFC 268. We have to put uh, put some fucking respect on his name. Uh, Kamaru Usman in this bet. He's going to beat Kobe Covington again. He's going to break his jaw again. He's going to knock him out again. He will be champion. It will be an end still situation for Kamaru Usman versus Kobe Covington in New York City. I'm also going to take Rose Namanu. Nama Nunez, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Rose Nama Nunez. She's the current champion. Uh, she won her first belt in Madison Square Garden versus uh, Joanna, you know, Jay Check a few years ago. I trust her to win this fight again. So we're going to take Rose Nama Nunez and Kamara Usman in UFC 268. Both to win, both and still situations. We're going to add those two bets to our NFL Week 9 bets. So we have a Week 8 bet, we have a Week 9 bet, and we have two bets from the UFC 268. This is a nine-team parlay. We're taking the Chiefs on a money line, the Ravens on a money line, the Patriots on a money line, the Bills on a money line, the Raiders on a money line. The Rams on the money line. The Steelers on the money line. Co- Kamaru Usman to beat Kobe Covington. And we're going to take Rose Naman- Doug Rose Namanunez to defend her championship and remain in still situation. It's a nine-team parlay. We'll risk $5 to win $94.17. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my NFL Week 9 bets. We're taking the Chiefs on a money line versus the New York Giants. The Baltimore Ravens on a money line versus the Minnesota Vikings. The New England Patriots on a money line versus the Carolina versus the Carolina Panthers. The Buffalo Bills on a money line versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Las Vegas Raiders on a money line versus the New York Giants. We have the Giants losing two games in his parlay, okay? We're taking the Los Angeles Rams on a money line versus the Tennessee Titans. 
The Pittsburgh Steelers on the money line versus the Chicago Bears. Kamara Uzman and Rose Namanunez to win their belt, their respective belts at UFC 268 in MSG New York City. Will I go 9-0 and o, or will I go 0-9? Oh What's your best bet for a two, for your NFL Week 9 bet? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite favorite? Who's your favorite home team? Who's your favorite road team? What's your lock of the week? What's your upset slash underdog pick of the week? And what's your game of the week? I would say the game of the week for me, uh, I want to see the Titans versus the Rams. I want to see how the Titans look after Derrick Henry. Remember, this. they are still 6-2 and two in the AFC. That's a really good record. So we'll see what the Titans do. Um, it's not... In this parlay, but obviously the probably the game of the week everyone's going to be paying probably the most attention to will be the Chiefs versus the Packers next week. I believe that's in Arrowhead. I think the Chiefs will be at home for that game. The Packers are 7-1. Packers will be I think, going to um, Kansas City. So that should be probably the game of the week that's going to be highly watched next week for the NFL Week 9 Packers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Hopefully the Kansas City Chiefs could pull off a win tonight versus the New York Giants. If they lose tonight, their playoff chances are almost slim to none. So you expect them to win this game, and then we'll see what they can do versus the Packers next week. I'm Jason Las Vegas. These are my 2021 NFL Week 9 picks. A 9-pick parlay. We have an NFL Week 8 pick. A few NFL Week 9 picks. Two picks from the UFC 268. We're risking $5 to win $94.17.